Well, it is Monday again, so we like to have our Money Monday segments. And if you remember last week, we were talking about estate planning and the importance of having wills. Well, we're going to continue that conversation just to help people understand why it's so important. And the perfect person to do that, Kyle Winkfield, of course, from Finley Alexander Wealth Management. Good morning, Kyle. How's it going? I'm doing well. Good morning to you. Let's dive in where we left off. You and I were talking about there's a misconception sometimes about estate planning, wills, even trusts. Oh, that's only for the wealthy percentage of the population. Why is that something you like to come right out of the gate and say that is not the case? Everybody needs to consider this. Yeah, great question, Natalie. I, th I think that the first thing is it's not just about people who we perceive as wealthy. It's for all of us. If you've got something, then it deems having the legal documentation to protect it. And I think one way, I, one analogy I like to use is the legal, the proper legal paperwork, wills, trusts, whatever it may be, based on what you're trying to accomplish, is like a suitcase and we're going on this journey. And the financial products and financial assets that you have are like the clothes that go in the suitcase. So you gotta make sure you get the right, you carry the right suitcase on the right journey to where you're headed. And then the other pieces are the financial accounts and assets coordinated so that you're you're leaving the best type of assets for those once you're gone, but also how can you enjoy them while you're here and then protect them inside of this legal suitcase as it were. And that's what the estate planning documentation is all about. Okay, I love that analogy, by the way, with the suitcase. That really makes it easy to understand. And one of the other ways that you're making it easy to understand last week is we used Aretha Franklin as an example. One of Aretha's children actually was on the autism spectrum and had some learning disabilities and some difficulties setting up as an adult, which unfortunately parents who do have an autistic child, they need to think about the future. This being April is Autism Awareness Month. What are some tips out there? Do parents need to think a little differently if they need to set up their child in the future to make sure they're taken care of? Yes. Okay, so short answer, yes. So whether your child's on the spectrum or not, if you have young children, you have grandchildren, you want to make sure uh, what you want to see happens, happens even in the event you're not here, getting the right legal documentation there so it's very, very clear from day one. And typically the way to do that, and I'm no attorney here, is utilizing a trust, like a revocable or living trust is one way to do that. Now, when it comes to a special needs child or special needs children, a special needs trust. So there's trusts that are designed just for those, for, for children or, or uh, whether they be children or adults, minor children or adults, that's called a special needs trust. And that trust is specifically designed to be able to take care of them in the event you're no longer here. Uh, and also once they become adults. I hate to kind of go negative, but say it doesn't happen for these adults with special needs. Say there wasn't a correct trust set up. And, you know, of course, their caretaker, their guardian does pass away. What happens? So a number of items can happen. I mean, it's it's where how much of a need are they in? How much support mm -hmm. do, they need, do they need? And so if they're at that place where they can't even function and they need round the clock support, again, the, if there's a significant amount of assets left, those will get spent first and then will go spent down to zero typically. And then perhaps some kind of like social security disability might kick in or some kind of Medicaid might kick in. But the idea of the special needs trust is, hey, let's make sure that those assets we have, that they go the distance for the, per the person we care about. And that person as an adult can still take advantage um, rightfully of some of the public uh, uh, tools that are available like social social security disability and, and whatnot so making sure you do that because the, the downside is that, i mean they may not be able to get the care they that you would want them to have if mm -hmm. you were here uh if you don't plan for it so we can plan for this so we should Again, so smart to talk about, especially this month, Autism Awareness Month. But we've talked about those trusts. Is it important or when do you recommend a trust? We only have a few seconds left. Is that something that people can talk with you a little bit more about as they are planning their estates? Yes, they can. I mean, at Finley Alexander, we understand uh, what you're up against. And so we have an entire unique ability team and subject matter experts in-house. So we do have an estate planning attorney in-house and an elder care uh, law attorney in-house. So we can definitely give you some guidance there. So if you want to have a chat or you can jump by our website and you can grab the 37-minute estate planning guide to get started. 
Kyle, I love where our conversations go, and you really can help people in so many different avenues. If you have any questions, Kyle, his team, they can help take care of you. There's the information for their Facebook page and along with their website. Kyle, take care. Look forward to next Monday.